go, guys. <laughs> so we're heading to Walmart. It is currently 11.07 p.m. Here's a little sneak peek at, at our uh, our pop wall, which is currently a mess right now. Um, but it's organized. That video is coming very soon. We're just trying to get, like, our desk, and um, I think we have to just organize everything. And then we're going to be recording that. But that's coming soon. We're going to Walmart. We're trying to hunt for the Alpha 5 Pop because stores have been getting it um, like in our area um, like over the past two days. So we're going to go try and find that. And uh, maybe if we find like the Crystal Hikari Megazord, um, we might buy that as well. But um, obviously we'll see what happens. I don't know. Most of the Walmarts in our area suck. But I mean, we'll see, I guess. So, this would be the latest time that we've ever gone pop hunting, aside from the time when I worked at my old job and I had to work overnights, and that was the most miserable thing ever, but I found an iron spider one night at a Walgreens because of that. Um, so, we're, uh, again, Walmart because they usually put their stock out, like, at midnight, um, or, like, you know, after midnight when, like, the overnight crew works, so we're really hoping that we find some stuff because of that like right as they're putting it out because the day before and today a lot of areas like around us that are like 45 minutes away or an hour away got them so we're being really hopeful oh, that's, a, that's a yellow yeller light she doesn't like yellers so here we are walmart number one get your big head out of the way walmart number one let's see what it holds for us so we're here at the first walmart and I'm pretty sure that the Alpha 5 actually comes in the um, package with, or like the set with the um, like the Power Rangers. Not that set, but like they come in a box together. I'm pretty sure they come together like that. Um, but yeah, no Alpha 5 here. I don't see the Hikaris either. So, I mean, it's very possible that they just like haven't gotten anything. There's the uh, X-Men jet though. So that's cool. And some dwarves and some uh, Naruto with Rasengan. And then some mystery minis. And like, I guess some plushes and then pint sized heroes too, which is cool. See, Walmart's have been getting a lot better about their Funko stuff. So that's exciting. Lots of pint sized, holy crap. They got a lot of pint sized heroes, so that's cool. That's a, uh, a big improvement over what we saw like for the past couple months um, and then we got some like Zorn um, Sakura some Star Wars Rogue One more Star Wars a little a hidden Toby what secrets are you keeping back there Toby? nothing nothing else back there that would have been cool though if I had like been recording and just ran away. oh there's the uh, Power Rangers plushes which are kind of cool looking we just, we can't do the plush thing. Oh, there's the Star Wars ones as well. More plushes. But, uh, yeah, no, um, unfortunately, no Alpha 5 at our first stop. Wasn't expecting to get that lucky anyways, though. And then when we were looking at the shipping pallets here, I got really excited because I saw, like, Funko box here. But it is the biggest tease ever. It's a six-piece Five Nights at Freddy plushes. And I kind of checked over the rest of it, too, so... I really don't think there's anything um, Power Rangers, like Funko here at all, so unfortunately still l didn't get lucky. Can we get that big enormous poop emoji? What is that, like a beanbag? Yeah. It's huge. Look at that face. Beautiful. So that was no luck at Walmart number one. But, why, was it, why are you laughing at that? I don't know, because I thought it was funny because I'm in the they, car. Look at them golden archers peeking through the, the trees there. And that's where Mama is going. So you know, this would not be an American toy hunt if we weren't stopping at the good old McDonald's. And it's really weird because this drive through has two drive through things, but this one is never ever open, like any time we ever come to this one. So, what's up with that McDonald's? Leave a comment down below, McDonald's, if you're watching this. So we're 
here at Walmart number two. <clears throat> it's like really dark, I can't even see your face. Walmart number two, let's see if we get any luckier here. Doubtful, Hopefully. because this, this Walmart is like probably one of my least favorites for as far as exclusives. They don't even seem to actually ever get any of this stuff, but we'll see. So, this is Walmart number two. No Power Rangers at all, so. We're gonna check the pallets though, just to make sure, but this one doesn't have as good of a selection as the other one. The other one's the other one's not even a super Walmart, and this one is, so it's kind of weird, but, um, nothing, like, really interesting. Just some, like, Harry Potter, some Marvel Civil War still somehow, and then, like, some Star Wars, but, um, yeah, we're gonna check, like, the pallet stuff, too. So we checked the pallets, and there was actually an employee back there as well, and she said no, um, but... Yeah, there was nothing out there, and there was nothing in the palace either that we could see, so um, I just checked the uh, the card section real quick, because sometimes they put them up here, but yeah, we didn't see anything else, so probably nothing at this store, too. So we are now at Walmart. Can you see it? Oh, there it is. Over our greasy, like, dirty windshield. Why is my windshield so dirty? We're at Walmart number three, so hopefully we find an employee that, like, is helpful or wants knows anything about pops would be nice or we just like happen upon them in the aisle or like see the shipping box or something on the pallets that would be cool but we'll see of course <laughs> do you have the keys walmart number three what is that beeping sounds like a bomb's about to go off so we're at Walmart number three, the Apopka one, and nothing new. There's actually not even any pallets over here, so it's not like they haven't even gotten any shipment for the toys. Um, there's the glow in the dark Freddy though, which is kind of cool, kind of tempting to buy actually. Um, then pretty much like the same as all the other ones, where they got the pint size, the my emojis, some dorbs, and then there's like some more pops up here, but it looks like they're all like Civil War and Star Wars again, probably. Um, then some mystery minis, um, and then like the plushy stuff down at the bottom too, so, um, nothing that we're looking for though, but, um, there's at least like a little bit of a variety within these pops, and that's actually kind of tempting, the glow in the dark red, that's actually the coolest looking one I think I've seen so far, I really like that one. I actually didn't even realize, but behind the Nightmare Freddy was a Toy Freddy. Which is really cool, um, but his box is like pretty like bubbling in the back, and I don't know. His box felt like actually it doesn't look that bad. I think it just feels like it's damaged. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the uh, Nightmare Freddy though because he's really cool and I really like that one. Gotta slick the hair back. How does that look? It doesn't fit your head. <laughs> does it look good though? I kind of look like funny. I kind of look like Freddy now. Actually, see his little tiny hat. That's me. This is my cosplay, actually. <laughs> All right, let's go. So I was wrong. This is this is Freddy's hat. This doesn't even sit on your head, though. I think this is just a display. So that's like balancing on my head. That's the real Freddy right there, though. I look just like him, don't I? All right. Yeah, that, that doesn't sit on top of your head. Now he has glitter, like, literally all over his shirt, in his literally. hair. Literally. Literally. In his, on his forehead. So then, on our way out of the parking lot, I found the absolute greatest find. A chicken leg. If any of you guys want me to pick this up, I'll charge $5 shipping, but I'll get it to you guys. So it is 1, about 102, because the clock is about 5 minutes fast, so it is 102. AM and we are heading to the fourth and final Walmart. So if this if this ends up being the one, that would be awesome, especially because we're recording. What would you do if this is the one? Be happy so I can go home. I thought you were gonna say go to sleep even though you just napped for like a hibernated like a bear. I'm still tired. But fingers crossed guys, let this be the one and I would be excited. So around the back of this Walmart, Walmart number four. There was actually a Walmart truck attached to it, so they've definitely got to be like getting their shipment of stuff in, so 
Maybe after all we will end up getting lucky. That would be awesome. Sonia's getting freaked out because this is like sketch zone out back of the Walmart. Walmart number four. So this is like the weirdest thing at this Walmart. You can like literally apparently trade in your phone and get money for it. It's called the Eco ATM. Instant cash for phones. Give me your phone. I want to I try it out. So we just got here and it looks like they have the rest of the Power Rangers too but not the Alpha 5 again, so... Um, I think that is true though, I think it does come packed with the rest of the Power Rangers. Um, but then again, uh, just some Pint Size Hero stuff at the top. Good old stolen Harley, black and white Harley Pint Size Hero. Some mystery minis, those are the Walmart exclusive ones. And then some uh, Harry Potter mystery minis, but that's it. Um, that sucks if that's actually if that's actually how that one comes and that's the second Walmart we've been to tonight where he's already been uh, sold so unfortunately it doesn't look like we're gonna find one tonight so that is going to conclude tonight's hunt guys um, we didn't find any of the Alpha 5 or the Megazord so I almost kind of wonder if they just haven't even gotten them in yet because I think at least all of the stores um, got a couple of the Megazords, but maybe not because I know they're all supposed to be like limit 1500 um, But we did get the uh, the Nightmare Freddy at least so it wasn't just a complete loss I guess um, this one's pretty cool. I had been looking for him kind of so um, I'm at least excited that we got that but um, Yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video um, If you guys like the videos like this one let us know down below in the comments um, And then leave a like on the video obviously so we know you know how you guys feel about these I know a lot of people like to watch hunting videos like this and we're getting a lot more comfortable with like actually like going out in public and like recording with a camera because we're using like legit camera in public and a lot of people give like weird stares when you're walking into toy aisles with a camera um, but I wear it like around my neck but um, yeah we're getting more comfortable with doing videos like this so we definitely want to make more because they're actually really fun to shoot it's just fun to like show you know you guys what it's like you know hunting here and it's really fun to share those experiences with you guys and um, read your comments and stuff about it we really have a lot of fun doing this and we're definitely looking forward to make more making more so make sure you guys get subscribed for that but um, you guys have a good one good luck out there and keep on collecting Bye. hey guys it's Justin for the end of the video we've put the button to subscribe as well as a couple other videos we think you might also like so get subscribed to see more videos just like this one from us soon Thanks, good luck out there, and keep on collecting.